I said this moment, his job was just by smoothing, so I think this would be a good conversation there. Tonight on Piers Morgan Uncensored, Israel at war, the uncensored debate. Mohammed Hijab is a Muslim. Yeah, I'm sure it would be a productive conversation. Muslim philosopher, scholar, and YouTuber whose first appearance on the show is viewed by more than 8 million people. Rabbi Shmuley Botiak has been called the most famous rabbi in America, he is the international best of okay. kosher hate, and the Israel warrior. Both men are passionate, both men are influential, and they both have vehemently opposing views. So yeah, not watching a boxing match or something. Tonight, they go uncensored and head to head, but bring together two very opinionated, passionate, influential people, and very opposing yeah, views, and we're going to have a proper debate, and we're going to see if somewhere there is perhaps more that we can agree on than we first imagined. So thank you for joining me, gentlemen. We tossed a coin before we came on air tonight, and uh, actually you won the, the, the toss, um, and you said you want to go second. I so, defer to my, my brother. A coin to us. Uh, we have four sections of this debate, and at the start of each one, you'll both get one minute uninterrupted to say what you want to say about each of the themed uh, titles of each block. So you go first, and at the end of your minute, you'll hear a sound, and when you hear that, uh, you end, and then a Rabbi Shmuley gets his chance to speak. So the first theme is a simple one. Are Hamas to blame? You have a minute, Mohammed, from now. From one perspective, Hamas started the battle because, uh, obviously, from October 7th, even they themselves titled it Tufan al-Aqsa or the flooding of al-Aqsa. But from another perspective, if you really look at it from an international law perspective, we're talking about 1967. No. We're talking about resolution, Syria Resolution 242, in which it is actually stated that um, Israel is in a belligerent state because they're occupying the West Bank, East Jerusalem, and Gaza. And they have been, so therefore the war has been continual for a very long time according to international law. But let's remove Hamas from the situation altogether. Let's remove them. What do you have? You have the West Bank. And what do you have in the West Bank? You have 187 Here comes the hypothetical ending. children who have been put in prisons. They have been put in prisons, according to Beth Salem, without charge. You have 44 children before October the 7th that have been before October the 7th, in just 2023 alone. So if you remove Hamas from the equation, what you have, you have the West Bank. You, you remove dominance from the equation, you have the West Bank, and what do you have? You have occupation. And you, you can just remove Hamas. Settlement. You condemned, rightfully so. You condemned that on your show. The settlement's there. Okay. Rabbi Shmuley, one minute to respond. Resolution 242 in the UN doesn't mention a single thing about aggre aggression or aggressor. That is a total fabrication, and it speaks about disputed territories. But let's be clear. The occupier of Gaza is Hamas. They won an election in 2006, had a civil war with Mahmoud Abbas, took the Palestinian Authority officials, threw them off buildings. Muslims, Arabs. Mahmoud Abbas is afraid to go to Gaza. He's terrified of Hamas. He hasn't been there since 2007. And let's be clear, Hamas is an abomination to Islam. Sultan Salah al-Adin, the greatest Muslim conqueror of all time, after whom the main artery in, in Gaza is named, he said that you have to allow all prisoners to be redeemed. He would never hold hostages. This is, and remember, the Islam is about fair treatment of prisoners of war. Hamas Thai non-Jewish workers. You asked in your last appearance here for real uh, first-hand sources. Okay, I'm a first -hand source. I saw it in Kibbutz Alumim. They are women with dead okay. bodies. They are evil and I'm do the okay. right thing I'm and call them I'm evil. Time's up, time's up. All right, we've had a minute each. Okay, we've got a, a passionate start. Mohammed, let me ask right. you about Hamas. I want to first, before you do that, I want to commend you, Piers, mm -hmm. honestly, because bringing me on for the second time, I have to commend you. The fact that you actually condemned the settlements is very good. But people want to know: Do you think the idea? Uh, no. You don't think that? that I don't know. Okay, well, if you look at the UN definition. Organization. They say civilians for political. No, you're objectives. asking Why my opinion. No, but it's, I, I it's the UN definition. The, according to the UN definition, civilians for political objectives. Okay, he wants his opinion to science, I guess. It, well, you've asked me a straight question. I don't yes. think. So when you see babies like this, the ones, the ones who babies like this are not. It's horrific. So the people who kill babies like this. Well, let me let me respond. <laughs> yes. Let me respond. We'll, yeah. we'll both, so your turn. Can both go into this emotionally loading this. Here's my response to that. And I've thought carefully about this. I'll be very honest about my own feelings. I, I have a real moral quandary about this. Yeah, as a father, I, I hate these scenes. Yeah, okay. Conservatives bringing up the baby, I guess. It's the same situation. Kids being in Gaza. It's horrific, right? We all know it's horrific. Well, well, I'm, I'm about to explain to you what I think my position is. My position is after what happened on October the 7th, it was so barbaric, so disgusting. So you can... Well, no, what you can do... That's exactly... 
Let me ask you a question. This is not a host. This is someone else becoming the host of the show and now interviewing you. I thought we were being interviewed. Mohammed, you and I are being interviewed. You're not here to interview him. Don't make him lose control of his own show. You do this all the time. I'm not going to let it happen tonight. Okay, stealing this whole. Please have respect for the No, no, no. Stop interviewing the interviewer and be respectful. And be respectful. Let me respond. No, I, I, why not? I do not believe so. For political you have to let me answer. Go ahead. Okay. Here's my answer to that. When Hamas did what they did, two things. One, Hamas knew exactly what Israel's response would be. They knew they would come incredibly hard back. I don't absolve them. Wait, wait a minute. I'm not absolving anybody. I'm, I'm, not, just... I'm not absolving them. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying the West Bank is West Hamas. I know. Hamas. Let me, you have to let me answer. You have to let me answer. This is ridiculous. Wait a minute, Rubbish. Let me just ask you quickly. Go ahead. I believe Israel has a right to defend itself from after that terror attack. Wait a minute. Can they? Wait a minute. Particularly after the Hamas spokesman only last week said that they want to do this again and again and again. That's an existential threat to Israel. Why don't they fight the man to man? Man to man. Fight the man to man. Wait a minute. Let me answer you. Let me answer you, Muhammad. Why? Let me answer you. Of a ratio of 100 to 1, by the way. Let me answer you. 100 to 1 ratio. Let me answer you. Go ahead. Otherwise, it's pointless. Go ahead. So, I agree that Israel must defend itself. I agree they have to get rid of Hamas because Hamas is wedded to an ideology of existentially removing Israel. Is this Israel. acceptable? Wait a minute. I'm coming to your is this answer. Acceptable? I'm coming to your answer. This is not, this is not. This is, no, no, this, this is not even, this is not even a conversation. Wait a minute. Listen, me, I came all the way to the United States for this debate. Let me finish. And he will not let anyone let me, else speak. Let and me if that's finish. how these shows guys, work, guys, no, no, no. Guys, you are rude, guys, you are a bully, you just Schmitt, are trying to interrupt people. I didn't have a chance to speak, yes, or there's no point in doing this show. You did this last time and you allowed him to, but I won't allow him to, because I will never be bullied by a bully. Let me be clear. Wait a minute. No one's allowing me to answer your question. Your question is this. I believe Israel has a right to defend itself. I agree that they need to get rid of Hamas. Right, this way? Are, this way? Well, here's the quandary for me morally, right? Why here's is that the quandary, though? I'll tell you why. With Hamas, it's not a quandary. I'll tell you why. Because country. in war, in war, when you decree... The thing is actually crying. Fair war, as Britain did with... 100 to 1 ratio. No, no, of course, to one. there are, a, to non there are ratio. a far higher number of children in Gaza proportionate to population than almost anywhere in the world. P so when P they go P after Hamas, very sadly, Mohammed, very sadly, very sadly, you have done it. You are the one who insisted on equal time. I never did, but you will not respect the I will come to you literally in 30 seconds. He's going to ask you a question. In 30 seconds, I'll come to you. He's going to come to you afterwards. Let me finish, please. I am in charge here, Mohammed. So my final point on this is, unfortunately, in war, civilians get killed. 100 to 1 ratio. 100 to 1 ratio. Yes. 100 to 1 ratio. Yes. They get no, no, not 100 to 1 ratio. It's not a ratio. It appears that's really in you come. You know, you know, Pierce, can I say respectful? I mean, civilians get killed all the time in times of war, man. Wait, and I mean this as no insult. I'm amazed that you're intimidated by this man. I feel, not, I feel, well, with all due respect. If I can speak, if I can speak, if I can speak, if I can speak, if I can speak. I wouldn't bring him back if I can speak. If I can speak, if I can speak. And he raises a very valid question, by No, he does not, because I have, I have, before he did this debate, he went on X on Twitter and said, I'm only doing it if there's equal time. And then he is violating that. I never asked for equal time. I just want to be heard. But he won't even let me be heard. Let me explain something to you. You said in a, in a video the other day, and you can look me in the eye, you said that Jews are now trembling. I Muhammad, I am not. No, 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 don't interrupt me. I, I am not I trembling. It's all on my, it's all my Instagram page. Don't now, don't you see this yarmulke? It means that I represent something. I'm an ambassador. You're don't an ambassador don't of Islam. Lie. You are talking about a religion that started the world's first universities, educated women. Fatima <laughs> started the first fierce university in the, in the ninth century in Fez, Morocco. Irrelevant. Now we have a man who says that he's a representative of Islam. He's meant to be speaking he goes, to you. He goes to Speaker's Corner. He speaks about whether five-year-old girls are... He says that gay men have as, as a punishment from God, and I'm sorry I've to have to say this to the, to the listeners, that, 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 that is gushing from their backsides. Right. They're better off. The, you know what it is? Because you are desecrating a great religion. Now let me tell you no, why. No. Let, me you why no, no. let me tell you why it appeal. Why, right. why it's here? Because he will Bring defend. The the I will. I will. He will defend Hamas's butchery. What is actually going on in there? Savagery. He doesn't care that Hamas is is an abomination to Islam because running away. Because Islam. The children in Gaza are. Because Hamas uses them as bulletproof vests. Okay. The United States and France okay. and England said yesterday that the Al Shifa Hospital is a military base. Okay. It has a tiny veneer. It has a tiny veneer of, em of emergency rooms. Okay. Oh, but the, underneath all of it is a military you base. A and let me tell you something. If it's true that any of these countries care about the Muslims in Gaza because they believe what he's saying that Israel's. This is a map of all the countries that took place last week in, in Riyadh to save the Palestinians of Gaza from Israel. Do you know how many? That's Israel, a tiny thing. You know how many of them took in even one Palestinian from Gaza? Zero, nothing. All right. Look at that let map. Me, let because me, they want to... The Arabs want to see... No, I'm not The Arabs want to see Hamas. Don't intimidate me. Don't bully me. Don't intimidate me. I'm not afraid I've got a better ask questions. It's a debate. Let's come back. Let me ask you one specific question which he raised, which I don't think actually... I don't think you have defended what Hamas did on October the 7th. I think you share 
are they evil? Unless I'm wrong, are they evil? Are they evil? Are they evil? Are they evil? Rabbi Shluli, if I'm asking, you're now doing what you accuse him of doing. So let me ask you, what is your view of Hamas post October 7th? I think that they, just like anybody else, have to be examined, have to, have, have to look at all... What's your opinion about them? Yeah, I think that... If, look, in my opinion, very straightforward about this, right? Anybody who... Civilians, anybody, whether it's the IDF, I'm consistent in this manner. If, if, if it's proven with un, beyond reasonable doubt that these people have civilians in both of our faith traditions, in Islam and Judaism, in the Quran is mentioned, in the Prophet, he said it himself, you cannot kill a woman, you can... I'll, I condemn them. I condemn them. That's what I do. Straight away. Whether he's Muslim, whether he's non-Muslim, whether he's Christian or anybody so else. So it's US too, I guess. Damn. I've already said that. So I'm not being inconsistent here. My question is, if that is exactly the barometer that we're using, if that's the moral reasoning that we're using, then we have to say, look, if you have a 100 to 1 ratio, and that's what it is, a 100 okay. to 1 ratio. And you know how I got this figure? I got this figure from the IDF themselves because they have reported... Okay, to but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Does Hamas deserve to stay in power after what they did? I don't think we should have Hamas in power. What I think we should. Okay. No, let me so, tell you. So, so how we, do, should, we, should have, get, we should have. How a do you get rid of them? We should have yes, a Palestinian but... authority with bigger armies okay. and airports, okay. with proper tanks and with uh, uh, airplanes like every country in you the world. You know what? You might be right. But uh, here's absolutely, the point. they won't allow it. How do you get, rid of, won't allow do you get rid of Hamas? What you don't do, I can tell you for a fact, is trying three th thirty thousand of them with a hundred to one ratio. Because if you do that, then you can because you'd have three million Palestinians. Rabbi Shmuley, do you know even do you even know the I haven't said genocide. genocide. What's it? You just said it. No, I said, no, you just I said, said it. If you what is the definition of I said if you do You always claim to be an academic. You're always doubting your Oxford credentials. What is the definition of right. conditional? He said Where I didn't, I didn't you, target I didn't you target an ethnicity for extinction. Geno, ethnicity, side, murder. Yes, if you do. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, there are one. There are There are 1.8 live in total peace in Israel as equal citizens. In fact, Israel practiced reverse discrimination against the Jews because the Jews are conscripted to, to fight question? Hamas. So, if you, Israel, you, excuse me, no, you will not interrupt me. Stop, if Israel, you will not interrupt me. You will not interrupt me. You will not interrupt me. You will not bully me. You will not interrupt me. No, I am not afraid right. of you. Stop saying that Jews tremble. Now, let me be clear. Let me be clear. Now we'll be shouting over each other. Well, then you need to control your guests with all due respect. He said equal time and there's no equal time. Now, if Israel was interested in a genocide of the Palestinians, keeps going. Why do they have 1.8 million equal Arab Muslim citizens who are in the Israeli Supreme Court, who are one third of the medical exactly. profession? Do you know, that, do you know that? Do you know that an Arab, pre, an Arab judge put the president of Israel in jail for accused Moshe Katsav? That's how little Israel is an apartheid state. This man sitting next to me, Mohammed Hijab, will not distinguish between self-defense when Hamas comes to brutalize okay. people versus when an army okay. like Britain, right. like France. Stop oh, retaliating to simply protect the Jews. Rabbi Shmuley, you say. don't believe the Jews should have a right to defend Rabbi themselves. Shmuley. Say it out right then, then say it. The, the Jews, Jews have a right to defend themselves. They do. Yes, they do. So of that's why we have to go to Everybody has a right to defend themselves. That's why we have to go to Gaza to stop Hamas. Yes, they can go to Gaza to stop Hamas. But no, they can't go in. But no, hey, hold on. Let me tell you my position. Let me tell you my. So they can go in. Thank God. Ask me a question. Go ahead. Answer it. Yes, they can go into even fight. Even Abu Abaida, the general of Hamas, he said, "Nahnu fi intizarikum" in Arabic. We are waiting for you. That's why he's been saying. Hold on. You've asked me a question. Go ahead. They do have a right, but my what I've been advocating all along is face-to-face -face confrontation. What I'm against, hold on, excuse me. What I'm against is a hundred to one ratio, because if you have right. hundred, excuse me, let me finish. Come to no, if, 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 let me, right. okay, fine. Hamas is fine. hiding under hospitals. Okay. What face-to-face face confrontation? Rabbi, Hamas is shooting, Rabbi, shooting, shooting face -face. Face -face. I'm okay with face-to-face -face confrontation. Is, I like it. Block two is exactly, it's the honorable way. Block two is exactly this question. Ahead, my only observation, he hasn't had Rabbi, so far, you're being more personal and ad hominem than he is. With all right. due respect, I think that's extremely unfair. Because well, every are. time I say anything, no, listen. And you keep, you keep he, answering if, for him. If, and if, Muhammad, if you actually ask him questions, because he gives you straight answers. If Muhammad, well, if Muhammad, Muhammad's job wants to be a representative and ambassador of Islam, then he has to take responsibility for his position. I don't want to be any of that. He actually said that Islam I'll, I'll believes myself. in... We are, you're okay. not going to beat us because we want to... Right. We're prepared to lose thousands Rabbi, of people. Is Islam break. really religion of death? We're taking a poor ambassador of faith. You believe in martyrdom. Of course. Do you want to be a martyr? Yeah, absolutely. You want... Do you know, Jews? I don't say Jews. Who said Jews? Okay. Do you, you know want to be a martyr? Where? What is it? What is it? Martyr means someone dies for his faith. Told us. Man, quote Ladoun Amel he throws shade. Shade. Yeah, PS want to take the break, man. Is defending themselves, defending their wealth. Is that what you want? No. Are you? Do you want? Excuse me. Defending excuse Islam, me. But do you want this, Islam to be religion of peace? This child. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on. This child for us is a martyr. You're right. Do you agree or not? Because Hamas is using him as a human shield. Really? He is. Yes. Hamas is hiding behind him. Let's go to the next section. All right. All right. Let's time out. Come on, man. Let's try and try not to talk over each other because the viewers can't hear it. Right. I don't mind the passion. Sure. I don't mind the debate. I don't mind the fire. I yeah. do mind if we can't hear what you're saying. It's pointless. Yeah, let's do the minute. Let's thing. go to the second, the second topic. Right. This time, minute, Rabbi Shmuley, you will go first with a minute to say what you want to say, and then Mohammed, no, uh, you'll question, get yours. Please? So the theme is this, and the question is this for Block Two: Has Israel gone too far mm -hmm. in its response to the October the seventh terror attacks? Okay, Rabbi Shmuley, you have a minute starting now. I just yep. came here by taxi and passed the statue of Winston Churchill. That's in the lifetime of our parents. Okay. 
He is the greatest British statesman of the 20th century. You know what he did when he had a Britain who wanted to eviscerate, annihilate Britain? He carpeted all of Germany, Dresden, Essen, um, uh, Hamburg. Israel has not even gotten close to that. Israel does not send its air force to carpet bomb cities. It sends its military. I have a friend who six children, 39, because he was personally trying to stop a Hamas tunnel. Israel is surgical. Israel is only going after the fighters. Israel has opened humanitarian corridors for the, for the Palestinians to go south. Hamas shoots them and makes sure they don't go. Hamas builds its military structures. Why did Shifa Hospital is this much hospital and it's this much military. They love using Palestinians and that's why they've stolen their money. They got, they got about $16 billion really? from the international community. There isn't one shelter in, in Gaza. They don't care about the, the okay. civilians at all. Okay. Israel's doing the right thing. Mohammed, you have a minute. What I'm saying is the 100, 100 to 1 ratio comes from the following figures. We know that 10,000 civilians of them, uh, according to the IDF, as reported by The Guardian, 60, dozens, they say, about 60 uh, Hamas, which we're being liberal by saying 100 to 1 figures. For every one Hamas, you have to get 100 civilians. That's effectively what we're saying. If the trajectory continues as it is, if the trajectory continues as it is, then you have to get 3 million Palestinian civilians in order 30,000 Hamas fighters. If you want to ex extinguish them, eviscerate them, annihilate them, destroy them, you have to do that. Now, you have Herzog, who is the president that you, uh, you interviewed, saying that all Palestinians, they are responsible. <laughs> this man is being more slippery. He's being more slippery than the lubricants that he sells in his daughter. And that's the reality <laughs> of the situation. Did you really just say that? You know, you seem obsessed with Jewish sex. It's bizarre. Yesterday, you actually spoke about Ben Shapiro's wife. Yes, you I actually sp you, you said yes, to Ben Shapiro, yes, your wife's a coward. You're more of a man. Is that what you're trying to yes, say? All right. And you said that Jews have BDSM. You're speaking about no. lubricants while people are dying. You know, Muhammad, get your head out of the Jewish bedroom. It's really bizarre. Can you we get it? Can we get it? Let me be clear. Lubricants? How embarrassing. Can we get it back? Can we get it back to the what is this yet on the deck? Let me ask a question. Why are you shaking? I've got five minutes. Come on, this is a serious. I think he's got one of his daughters. Come on, leave him, please. You are just humiliating. Back to the issue. We'll cut all this stuff out. So there's no point. Why? Why leave it? People should see what he represents. There's no point abusing each other personally. Okay, here, here, here. I want to stick to the debate. Let's get to the debate. You don't want to do it. Well, end the debate. Let's get to the debate. Let me let me ask Mohammed a question. I don't disagree with you that so far it seems to me yes. obviously yes. A, a, a fact that many, many more Palestinian civilians, innocent people, are getting as retribution by the Israelis for what happened on October the 7th. That's indisputable, right? Their argument is that they're going to the organization Hamas, and unfortunately in war, as Rabbi Shmuley correctly said about what Churchill did in World War II. Churchill was wrong. A lot of Churchill was wrong. Okay. Okay. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Right. Yes, he was. Churchill was a war criminal. Yes, Churchill Churchill was a war criminal. All the British Let me do the question. Churchill was a war criminal. Okay. Let me do the question. Was Georgia six? Was Georgia six war criminals? Yeah, all of them war criminals. Yes, of course. Hang on, hang on. Rabbi Shmuley. Let me ask. So let me get this straight. Absolutely. Collective punishment. You think Winston Churchill was a war criminal? In standing. Uh, who killed 12 million people I believe he was a war that criminal. by doing what he did was a war yeah. criminal. By President Hamburg, yes. by, by, by uh, indiscriminate collective punishment, my morality says that's impossible. Okay, that means the British people that's impossible. Well, they can't kill two children. Men, they're my also, morality says that's impossible. Just a second, just a second. That's why I'm the British. He took the bullet, I guess. People, yeah. You believe he was a war criminal? Yes. So, so therefore, you, your belief is that no retaliatory action No, you can retaliate to the man, not to the babies. Tell me a war in history yes. where civilians have no, okay. Yeah, it's true. What is the ratio? What is the ratio? So let me give you a ratio. Yeah. How many people did the Nazis kill? I don't know. We don't well, know. Six, we know. 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 We in Germany, do you know? I don't know exactly. Right, so you don't actually know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about because you I know it's Dresden and Hamburg. You said it's about. You, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, go ahead. Unless I'm wrong, yeah, you ahead. said it's to do with the ratios. The ratios. Yes. But you don't know the ratios. When no, you no, call, I know for a fact. You call Winston Churchill. Well, what are the Dresden numbers? and Hamburg. What are the numbers? Wait a minute, Hamburg. Rabbi Shmuley. When Dresden. you call Winston Churchill a criminal yeah, for basing it on ratios, you don't even know what they are. I know for no, there's difference of opinion among the scholars. No, there isn't. There is difference. Tell us the opinion. What are they? Tell us. Tell us what they are. Hold on. How many in Dresden? Excuse me. Stop speaking. How many in Dresden? Am I speaking too much? How many in Dresden? Whatever the number. You don't know what it is. It's indiscriminate. I'm against it. No, he doesn't. Dresden's about 25,000, and uh, at the time, the, the, the Germans were saying 250,000. We know it's about 25,000 today. Let me, be, let me be clear. Winston Churchill was the greatest statesman of the 20th century. He saved clear. the world from... I agree. Yeah. That you could live in a country that is only around today because of the bravery of that man showing no gratitude is the height of... Stick on topic. call all the British people who defeated... Stick on topic. Stop interrupting me. He's saying to this, yes, him. War criminals, his parents, all the other people, war criminals. No, no, no. Let me let me be clear. Let me let me let me interrupt you. Let me be clear. Nice. Muhammad Hijab trades in falsehoods. Three hundred to one. What are you talking about? One hundred to one. And now he says that now he says the Jews are.
3 million I listened about to you. I said, the fact that this man considers you, you himself an Oxford academic. I was a rabbi at Oxford University for 11 years. This is a travesty. This is a travesty. Let me ask you a question, Rabbi. Did you graduate from there? I have a rabbinical degree. Did you graduate? Let me answer. You're excommunicated. Let me answer. I swear you're excommunicated from there, Rabbi. Can I speak? This is pointless. Rabbi Shmuley, is there a limit to the number of civilians in Gaza that Israel can to try and That's eliminate a good question. Hamas. That's a great question. Yes, there is. Thank you. But let me ask you. Not even one. Not one beautiful Palestinian child should have Hamas kicked out Mahmoud That wasn't Abbas. my question. And, yeah, and not one should have to. What, 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 the answer to your question is, yeah, that Hamas, if they surrender unconditionally, then Which all they're not going to do. Okay, fine. But is let, there them, a limit? Let, them, let them allow all the civilians. Is there Israel, a limit? Israel said that all the civilians can leave. All the civilians should go south. They begged them. And that's something that militaries never do. Churchill did not tell the people in Dresden, come on. And, and you, yeah, see, no, you, but, came, but you came with all your notes. We, we get I'm, the point. I'm, not, I'm not here. We get the point, Mohammed. This, this, this is all. I get the point. This is, this is all proof that he can't debate remember, me. Remember, so he has to use these images. Rabbi, debate me. We, we, we didn't ask you to come on with all your exhibits. Rabbi let me ask you a question. A member of the cabinet in Israel was actually quoted as saying that nuclear weapons exactly. were an option that mm. Israel could use. A, no one's ever confirmed Israel has nuclear weapons. It's long been suspected. That seems pretty clear confirmation. Why, why are you against nuclear weapons? Well, hang on. If you're, if you're not against Dresden, why are you against nuclear weapons? Let me ask the question. Let me ask no, the question. No, but why are you against it? I've done this before, this job. Let me do it. Go on. Okay? So when that guy says that, if you're, if you're living as an innocent civilian in, in Gaza, what the hell are you thinking? That an mm. Israeli government member mm -hmm. threatens the use of a nuclear weapon, right. which but would obliterate yeah. pretty much all of Gaza and everyone in it. Yeah. Which kind of mess up? If that were true, why hasn't Israel used nuclear weapons against Nasser when he no, invaded? Well, hold on, hold on. It's true. This guy threatened. And the, and the answer, and the answer is no, no. I know the guy, and I spoke to him about it. His name is Amichai Eliyahu. Mm. Israel has yes, never. Any I guess, I guess Arab Arab on, Muhammad, ever, 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 ever. Now, now, now. Was preemptive. He was asked a question by a provocative interview, and he said, "Well, if you're it was like a, it was a Muhammad job." dismissive and stupid, and he put out a statement the next day saying that never in history would the Jews ever even contemplate doing that. Let's remember one thing. Mm. The only place in the, day the Middle he East, did, one second, Pierce, the, day the, only, place, the only place in, in the Middle East where Arabs have any freedoms, mm. Israel, the only place where they vote openly. Okay, is, just being stupid, I guess. Israel. The only place where Palestinian women can dress the way they want, Israel. The only, and let's be clear, when, when, when Muhammad Hijab gets up and says that we Palestinians want to be a religion, you know, I just got a haircut coming here by an Arab barber here in London, and he said to me, I hope, you, I hope you defeat this guy because he doesn't represent us. We want to live. We want to have good lives. We want to be religious. Right. We want to eat halal. Ask, but we don't right. want to be them. You are not a Muslim. Shaking. You're an Islamist. You're let an Islamist. Let me ask Muhammad a question. Let me ask Muhammad a question. Let me ask Muhammad a question. Hamas has 240 See, hostages. Stop. Last week. Stop. Hamas has 240 hostages they took, including babies. Sure. Young kids. Sure. Grandmothers who survived an unspeakable further criminal yeah. act. We can agree, right? Of course. Why should Israel agree to any ceasefire as long as those hostages are still being kept hostage. Look, uh, my position is very clear. They should fight man to man on the ground. On the ground. Well, they are. That, no, that fighting. That's exactly I, what listen, they're doing. That fighting, no one. Uh, this is that's exactly what they're doing. Man to man, they took man, man, man to man. How? I have no idea how this. They took babies. Okay. Babies as hostages. He's, he's, he's asked me the question. They took babies as hostages. Let him answer the question. You're, you're getting excited here. I know it's your sexuals are inclined. You're getting overexcited. Get your head out of my bedroom, Mohammed. Get beneath you. He's getting excited with me. Let me ask the questions. You guys answer them. Mohammed, answer my question. Why, if you're Israel, yeah, yeah, would yeah. you ever agree to a ceasefire if those hostages aren't released? I'm, I'm telling you what my position is. My position is man-to-man -man combat. Which is what they're doing now. No. That part of it is understandable. Do you understand That's what they're doing. No problem. But what I think is not understandable, what is not acceptable, because you said, what's a proportionate response? Mm. That's the question you keep asking everybody. My answer to you is a proportionate response mm. is one where in which the ratios are not 100 to 1. That's on the your invention. Excuse me, please. Where does that come from? I'll what's your source? Okay, tell excellent. me the source. The tell source. me the source. IDF. The, the, ah, the idea, the yeah, sure, tell me when. when did they say it? They said, oh, I know all the IDF no, spokespersons. No, I, I know Jonathan Daniel Garry. Garry. I, Daniel Garry said what? When? Okay, so no, let me say, no, 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 no. Excuse me. Say, when did he say uh, it's two, to one. 10 days ago, and it's mentioned on a website. I'll tell you the truth website. is, they don't. Uh, I'm telling you, he never said no, 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 this. No, 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 they say, quote, unquote, dozens. Now, listen. Hamas Hamas or wait civilians. A minute. You said uh, civilians. No, no, wait you a minute. You said civilians. Wait a minute. I'm telling you, I got the 100 to 1 ratio. Mohammed. 100 to 1 ratio the comes into it. The numbers have it's dramatically invented it. 10,000 civilians. The numbers 60. It's actually more than 100 to 1. You said that you called out. Let me pull that up, Jamie. You said, Jamie, this whole. He has no sources. He has no sources. No one can hear what he's saying. Let me respond to him. This is a blood libel. Let me respond to him. The Jews have a right to respond to him. I'm about to question him. It's a blood libel. Here's the reality. I read that report. That was about at least two weeks ago, right? The numbers have changed a lot. Israel now believes.
a lot more Hamas. We don't know exactly how many, because actually, how do you tell on the ground by the way, Pierce, so the Hamas fighter and you know, a member of the general population? Do you know, according to the IDF, mm. uh, we've done a, a study on the name that they put on X. Mm. They, have, uh, they had 1,280 names that they put on X. Mm. And according to Haaretz, they put, uh, Haaretz, is a, as you know, is a left-wing newspaper in Israel. They also put the names of those who Guess what? Mm. According to them, 340 military have been killed, which means Hamas's ratio of combatant right. to non-combatant is three to one. Right. Imagine Hamas is doing a better job in protecting civilians than Israel. Three I, to one. I would to say one. I would say that Hamas, by what they did on October the seventh, hundred to one versus three to one. Wait Mass, a minute. Mass. Wait a minute. Mass. Wait a minute. Ordered by by doing what they did, they ordered de facto the disintegration of northern Gaza that we're seeing. Of course. And, and the, all the civilians and the suffering. Deaths, of have you seen? Have you seen the deaths of thousands of civilians? Let him finish. Let him finish. They knew what was going to happen. I agree. That's why they should go. In two thousand and five. Israel unilaterally withdrew from Gaza and allowed, Ham well, Hamas won an election in 2006. They could have built Singapore. You know what they did? They took larger foreign aid per capita than all of Europe received from the Marshall Plan. And look at France and Britain. Look how beautiful London is. They took that money and they bought bullets and bombs. They did not build hospitals, not schools. They stole it from the Palestinian people. Ismail Haniya is worth $4 billion. Khalid Mashal is worth $4 billion. Dollars. Why are you they call him? him Call him. I thought he was going to mention anything. I thought he was going to He won't. You see, he will never condemn Hamas because he has condemned. No, I have. I have. I've heard him do it. Excuse me. No, no, no. He condemned Hamas's attack. He's never condemned Hamas. Well, let me ask you. Do you condemn Hamas? On what basis? Here we go. Hold on. Do you accept now? Let me ask you a question. Every answer. On what basis? On what basis? What's your source? Even if you ask me, if you do condemn the IDF, I'll say specify your context. In what exact context do I? Do you defend Hamas? Do you condemn them or not? Get your head, get your head into the debate, and do you condemn them or not? See, this is this is a debating tactic. Let him answer. Two on one. It's become two on one. You're not a victim. Stop the victim. But now it's two on one. Stop the victim. You love portraying yourself as a strong man. Now you're a victim. It's two on one. You probably could take two on one. So answer it. Answer the question. Is Hamas a terror organization that you condemn? Is that something you would do? Is Hamas? That you. It's a reasonable question because you asked me. Is the IDF a terror? Okay, beautiful. I'll answer your question directly. Uh, Hamas is as much organization. Yeah, uh, no, Hamas shouldn't. Be if, the, uh, so if if the IDF isn't, why? Okay. Because if See, it's are, either both or not, okay. this is, this is either okay. both or neither. Okay, but just to, to, to extrapolate your position, because yeah. you believe yeah. the IDF is, yeah. then you're also saying that Hamas is. Let me tell you my position. Say it. No, no, I say it. Say it. Say it. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me get the answer. The unholy Shmoli won't let me speak. Right. I'm asking you. My answer is the first one. Given we know you could be friends. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Unholy Shmoli. Let me ask you. Given you've already stated you believe. Let the men and sir boys against. The IDF is a terror organization. Yeah. 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 Am I to assume legally or morally? Legally or morally? Well, hang on. Go on. Am I to assume that you believe Hamas is now? No. This is one. This is my position. But you have to give me ten seconds at least to answer. Right. Legally, I think you shouldn't call Hamas. That's my position. But you do both. Hold on, 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 let me finish. Because if the, as we said, the UN definition of what in order to achieve a political objective. However, on a moral and yes. theological philosophical yes. level, I agree with Rosalind Higgins, mm -hmm. who was uh, the justice of the International Criminal Court, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, the Court of Justice, ICJ, a British justice. By the way, she was a Holocaust survivor as well. She was Jewish. Yeah. And her position is that she believes that the word terrorism or terrorist is actually useless. And she says that it's... A, well, I'm putting to her... Well, I, can you answer my question? He's going on the just to evade the question. Let me finish. So I'm answering your question. So I'm saying that as a moral construct, I think it's a neo-colonial social construct used by people in order to, to label some people as terrorists and other people as well. Me, so okay. as a moral category, okay, yes. okay. I don't designate it as a moral category. Okay. 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 As, as a legal, legal category. Do you believe, yeah, do you a, personally, Mohammed, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. believe that the IDF and Hamas are both organizations? I think, yes. If, if, you, yes? if, you, say, if you say yes, yes to IDF, you should say yes to Hamas. Yes. Say yes. Say yes. But you say no to Hamas. Yes. I'm asking you what you believe. Hamas is a terrorist organization. What you believe. If you say yes to IDF, you can say yes to Hamas. No, I'm asking you what you believe. I'm just depleting to other persons. If legally, according to the definition, yeah, if you say yes to Hamas, you can say yes to Hamas. Pierce, 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 we could go on to the next I've got to, we are going to the next block. If you say no to the idea, we're going to the next, we're going to the next, we're going to the next block. But that's interesting. But morally, I don't believe the category has any weight. No, but you have, has no designation. But you have made your position clear, which is that you believe they're both terror organizations. I believe that according to the law, absolutely. Okay, and that's interesting to me. Okay, let's I have to say, no, I have to say. Wait, wait, let's come to the next. When you call the IDF a terror organization, the IDF keeps 1.8 million Arabs alive in Israel. Hamas, this is invention, it's a fabrication. 
education. That means move on to the last one. Get more pictures out. It's unbelievable. This is how you lose a debate. I need to bring. I've got nothing with you. You don't need to move on. You know what? No, my son. You could be dead like that. My son is in the idea. You're here in the safety of the studio talking about how you want to do martyrdom. You're really risking your life here, Bob. This you talk. You're big talk. You talk a lot. You attack. You attack. You attack Ben Shapiro's wife. My son is an idea. You you actually post. You actually post a clip saying that someone else saying that Islam teaches you how to get how to get women to listen to their husbands. This is all false. False bravado. False. False machismo. Your son, if you're Mindy, a real man, go to dead. the Middle East and fight. What are you doing in a television right. studio? Fight with him. Fight with him. Let me move to the last one. You is... should be there. You, you have the right to fight no, with no, him. No, no, I'm not. You use your son's human shield. You, you try to bully people in the base and it's being allowed. He's using his son's human shield. I want to move to the last ironically themed subject. Is peace possible? Okay. Not on this basis, right? But we've got to try and get to peace. So you get a minute each again. Mohammed, you'll go first this time. So you get a minute from now. Okay, so I just want to say that this man is... No, no, is peace poss no, ever no, possible? I've got a minute uninterrupted. Is peace ever possible? Can I speak uninterrupted? No, you're just speaking about the subject. I can say what, well, he's been attacking me. Don't attack, attack you, person. We're not going to use it. It's pointless. Okay. I'm going to take it, just for the record, we'll put it on YouTube so people can see it all in context, right? But on my show, I'm just not going to have half of this, what I thought was going to be a serious debate, taken up with you two personally abusing Von each Bismarck it's pointless. Excuse me, Von Bismarck said, I repay people with the currency that they pay me with. Right. If he's going to come with that homonyms, as you've acknowledged, I can come back with Right, but you did, and you shouldn't have done, because you had the high moral ground. Have homonyms? No, 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 is peace ever possible? Go. Justice is a prerequisite for peace. In South Africa, uh, when the apartheid system, which we know for a fact Israel is an apartheid state because it has laws like the right of return, which only, only, only allow Jewish people to come into the country. And if they convert, by the way, to Christianity or to, uh, to uh, Islam, they are stripped from that right, which is, it meets completely the definition of apartheid as Paul Cornell Law School and according to the UN Convention 1973. It's an apartheid system. And as a prerequisite of an apartheid system, you have to be a racist. If you support that, you're a racist. No doubt about it. So number one, 1973 apartheid law. If the black South Africans have been displaced, if they have been displaced by the whites and then they were trying to come back into their country and they were not allowed and then you ask them, is peace possible? That's not the question we'd be asking them. We'd be asking them, is justice possible? And that's the question that we're going to be asking. Because he can all uh, sit there and talk about all these things where the IDF, his son Mendy, is being attacked by, vibrated by the, the rockets, and he's selling him and his daughter selling vibrators to the public. <laughs> Unnecessary thing at the end again. I hope you keep that in. Uh, Rabbi Shuri, one okay. minute on, is peace ever possible? Of course. I revere countries like the United Arab Emirates, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, where I've spoken several times. I am safer as a Jew wearing a yarmulke in Dubai and Abu Dhabi than I am on the campus of Columbia University or even Harvard these days. Mm. The Mohammed bin, bin Zayed is just an incredible leader. Um, I saw in the Gulf states the Islam that Mohammed Ijab rejects, but the Islamic world embraces. That's why they made peace with Israel. It's a technologically advanced, tolerant, forward-looking, very traditional, very religious Islam. And that's, why, and, that's why, and that's why they've made peace with Israel, and peace will continue to be made. All of these countries are praying for Israel to destroy Hamas. Because Mohammed Ijab is an outlier. He's an extremist, and his views... Why well, is he obsessed with the big sale? What the... Well, his views as he represents them at Speaker's Corner of things about women being subject... Okay, okay, well, let, me just, let me just be clear. All of the Arab countries want Hamas destroyed. And, that's, and the proof is, when they had their conference Riyadh last week, they did not even okay. once call to bring in any evacuees because they want Israel to establish a more democratic okay. regime in Gaza, which they will do. Israel winning this war. to both of you, right? Just give me a very, very quick snapshot of, in 20 years' time, how peace could have been achieved. Very quickly. Okay. The first thing is, when Israel withdrew in 2005, almost 20 years ago, um, if Hamas had not come to power, if they had taken all the international aid that they got, um, tens of billions of dollars, peace would have been achieved by building businesses, entrepreneurship, schools. How do we get schools. there now? Okay. We get there now by destroying Hamas, making sure that there's democratic elections, let the Palestinian people, not Mohammed Ijab, not Shmuel Bateh, not I mean, you both agree Hamas should be gone, right? They, we can they, agree yeah. on this, right? So how, how do you do that? Agree that there should be a bigger need, Palestinian need, authority with armies and airplanes. And, 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 and the way we and have tanks. And the way we have tanks. In the history of the world, no two democratic and rockets uh, powers have ever gone to war. That's why since the end of the Second World War, there's been no war here in Europe. We need to see a democratic Gaza. Hamas won an election in 2006. There's a war in Europe now, by the way. In Correct, Ukraine. because it's against a tyranny. No, I said no two democracies ever gone to war. Putin is not a democracy. He's a tyrant. In the history of the world, no two democracies have ever fought a war. We have a democracy in Gaza. So, so what does peace look like in 20 years? Peace looks like the Arabs voting for their rulers, voting and backing them, uh, seeing Israel as a partner, not being humiliated that because of this tiny little right. red dot that's surrounded by that, that humiliation. Two state solution? I, well, you know, uh -huh. what uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. If, if, if two-state solution is a Hamas state wanting to eviscerate Israel, uh, but he doesn't God. believe in it. But he doesn't believe in a two-state solution. He believes in a final solution. No, That's no, no, really no. scares okay, okay. You don't believe in a two-state solution. You believe in a final solution. The way you speak about Jews, you believe in a final solution, and it scares Jews. I like that. Do you believe in a two-state solution? I love Jews. If that second state is Mexico and Canada, yeah. If that second state is Gaza, then of course not, because it'll just become another genocidal enemy wanting to wipe Israel off the map. That's pretty unequivocal. He doesn't really want a two-state solution. I don't want a two-state solution. That's a terrorist state to destroy Israel. 
believe this whole question should be left with the Palestinians of what kind of solution they want. However, having said that, this man has written in his book, A War in Israel, that is uh, the settlement. Write a book called War in Israel. It's, uh, it's called the, uh, the Israel Warrior. Something oh, thank like you. That, right? Thanks for plugging. Oh, fantastic. I appreciate fantastic. That. Thank you very much. But in that book, he writes you, that the issue you. of excuse me, the issue of settlements that me and you both condemn here is. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. He doesn't condemn it because he sees a, an ancient a biblical reason to be in that whole land. Oh, I think yeah, I think me. Arabs and Israelis should be able to live wherever they want. I want Arabs to live in Jerusalem. I want Arabs to live in Tel Aviv. I want Jews to live there. I don't believe in a union in Israel. I don't believe in Arab. I am so proud that Israel has 1.8 million Arab Muslim citizens who are protected by the IDF. Yeah, he calls the IDF a terrorist. Yeah, they are defending Muslim lives. Well, what well, you talking. should be less proud of is the rapid expansion exactly. of these settlements on the West Bank. That's it right. has been incredibly you condemn divisive. That? You condemn it's been, that? in my view, illegal. It's been declared illegal. illegal it shouldn't have happened. Well, Pierce, UN, Pierce, human rights. There are many things I'll defend. There are many things I'll defend Israel about. That is indefensible. Let me answer. Let me answer. If you go to places in Judea and Samaria in the West Bank, why do you call it Judea and Samaria? Because those are the biblical lands. Who cares? Why do you call something Arabia? It's the Arabs. You don't know history. It was always Judea and Samaria. The West Bank is the West Bank of a river. We don't call California the West Bank of the Mississippi River. Now, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Call it Canaan. If you go to the Barkhane Industrial Park in Judea and Samaria, you will see, I've met the Palestinians, I've interviewed them. They are paid t 20 times the salary working for people you call settlers. They want them there. It brings civilization. It's only jihadis who don't want it. It's only jihadis. And that's why that's you're saying... That's not true. Yes, it is true. That's not true. I've, I've interviewed I them myself. I know many, many Palestinians can I just make a, can who can definitely I, do look, not want them. You, 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 you know Palestinians who want to live under Mahmoud Abbas with no democracy? Let me come to Mahmoud. Shmoli, 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 Thank you. For that reason, yes, brilliant. Thank you. Well, just because uh, I'm wearing the blue, my mother loved that color. She I, I, I thought, was, I, I thought, I, I thought it would have been you. because of Israel. Because you. Oh, that's right. You wore the Israeli <laughs> colors Israeli today. Is it? Is that, is that, is that, hands? No, please, I don't want to. Because your really? hands are shaking. Your hands oh, sorry, are shaking. Sorry, but I mean, look how peaceful. Why don't you shake hands? No, no, I shake hands with you. You wouldn't shake my hand after what you said today about me. I can't shake your hand. After what you said about my sex life, and I'm shaking your hand. Stop, stop. I just want to say. You won't shake my hand. You won't shake my hand. Rabbi, let him speak. That's really sad. I guess it will be no. You know what he said there is a little bit telling because you know the blue colors in Israel and that kind of stuff. He defended Dershowitz, which was Jeffrey Epstein's uh, lawyer, mm -hmm. for that very reason, because he's a supporter of Israel. I defended I, Dershowitz. I Did you go Dershowitz when I fought over him going to Qatar. You, you don't know anything. You wrote on the Observer. You're, 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 you're abysmal, you're ignorant, you're shocking. Irrelevant, you're irrelevant, me and Alan Dershowitz had a huge irrelevant. fight over him the defending Qatar. Who Did you go to the island? Who gives, Come on, guys. Did I go get back to the Did you go to the island? Mohammed. Mohammed. Anyway, 20 years time. Mohammed, Mohammed. 20 years time. No, no. Maybe it's actually liking this. This is not a debate. What is your obsession with sex? I don't get it. I'm not going to use any of you you seem totally obsessed Unbelievable. with sex. Well, I wrote a book called Kosher Sex for Marriages. I didn't write it to other people's bedrooms. I don't care about either of your sex lives, okay? He seems Let me ask you, Mahana, in mine. 20 years' time. I'm right. 20 years' time, what does a potential peace look like? I don't know. Well, that's, that's a speculative question, to be honest. You asked me a hypothetical. You said you don't do solution? I don't know. You asked me a hypothetical question. I, am, yeah. do, I asked you a hypothetical. You said I don't do hypotheticals. Oh, what did you give me? Yeah. Why did you not ask my hypothetical? Again, guess with hypothetical, I guess. Hypothetical question. If you're asking me Which a hypothetical one? question, that Belfast question. Why? Huh? Remember, I asked you the Belfast question and you didn't answer it. I don't think there is. The only parallel. Why I think did you answer that one? Because there are different situations. No, but it's hypothetical. You're asking me a hypothetical now. Why? Well, you don't have to answer. I'm just asking you. No, but why do you have a different standard? I don't standard? think asking you how peace might look like is hypothetical. No, it's talking about the future in a hypothetical. Let me rephrase it. How would you like it to be resolved this process? Okay, fantastic. Okay, okay look, yeah, let's look at history. River to the sea, that's how you want it, right? No Israel. Let him answer. Don't answer, answer for him. him. Honestly, you'd be surprised to, to know this. And people talk about, you, you said this, I have to correct you. I looked at the Hamas chart, Hamas himself, yeah? Mm. In, in Article 16, even they say you can have, in Article 31, they say that you can have peace between, they can have a shared land between Christians, Muslims, and Jews. They even say that. The, I, I think the most radical elements, everybody you want, uh, the jihadis, these ones, that one. No one actually wants the extermination of Jewish people. That's not. Yeah, but uh, Exxon Stone. Actually, that's not true. The, the, the Hamas not true. Charter. Wait, wait, wait. Now, let me let me speak. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The Hamas Charter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let me yeah. speak. The Hamas Charter yeah. calls yeah. for the. The Hamas Charter says that behind every single tree and stone, that's where a Jew. That's hadith. Look, now you're saying that the Hamas. That's hadith. That wouldn't even be my answer. It says that every Jew has to be murdered. How can you possibly deny that? That's hadith. You know, you have. That's hadith. What's the hadith say? The hadith says, in the end of it's an eschatological hadith. Yes, go ahead. It's an eschatological hadith, which says that on the end of times there will be a war and there will be trees and stones that say behind me is a is a Jew uh, killing him. So Muhammad is saying that the Jews should Yeah, yeah this is a hadith, which has been misinterpreted. What does it mean? So, but what anyway, does it mean? What does it, it mean? No, it means that it's an eschatological. It's not an imperative. What does it mean? It's not an imperative. Are, are you Muhammad, obligated to kill a Jew on the no, bed? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Why do you pick and choose? You pick and choose. No, excuse me. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Let me ask you a question. Is this a theological question? Stop asking me. This hadith is called an eschatological. You know this because you're a theologian. It's an eschatological hadith. It's not talking about. It's not literal. It's not imperative. It's not like First Samuel chapter fifteen verse number
all the Hamas terrorists across the border on the October the 7th yeah. who gleefully okay, fine, fine, recorded yeah. it, fine. boasted see, about no, it, see, no, and, fine, fine, and fine. the Hamas yeah. official... Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. And the Hamas official spokesman who yeah. only last week said yeah. they want to do it again and again yeah. and again. Yeah. Yeah, that, if you don't that, think no, no, that, that, Hamas here, here are wedded no, 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 as an organisation no, no, no. to the annihilation no, 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 no. of Jewish people, you are living... It's in their charter. In their charter it says that they will murder... They said in their action one day. So does what they want to do. That I agree with. Hold on. Let me tell you why I agree or disagree. Both the IDF and Hamas, on paper, say they don't want the annihilation of Muslims and Jews. No, no. Let, 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 Hamas Charter says that's not no, true. I'm not going to lie. Hamas Charter says speak. explicitly that and every Jew will be murdered no, by Hamas. No, they no, are no, a no, genocidal no, no, charter. Yes, it is. And you're not you're lying. lying. You're lying. I'm sorry. It's not true. Nobody can hear either of you. Pierce. Right, the point is, in my estimation, of no, October the 7th, Pierce, give Hamas are now a give, Pierce, give openly boastful, no, 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 genocidal no, 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 bunch of terrorists. Right. Yes, that's no, hold, it. With, with terrorists calling hold their hold parents and saying, answer. I killed 10 I just Jews. Said that. I just said that. That. The Lukid party in 1999 had a charter, and in it they said they want the whole of Israel, including, as he believes, um, the West Bank and Gaza and everything. If we are going to... Did they say they would kill Arabs? No, 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 Arabs would be equal citizens. Let me finish. Let me finish. They're not equal because there's apartheid laws. No, right? there's no, no apartheid laws. The apartheid laws. So let me explain that. No, no, let me, right let me, now, let me right get now, to the point. You can go to one Portugal and Spain and show that if you have ancestry, they give you citizenship. That's Israel. If no, you're Arabs, Jewish, Arabs. Arabs. no, every country. Arabs or not. Listen, this Arabs is not. the country. Okay. Arabs or not. Muhammad. Aha. Muhammad, let me Aha. speak. Let me speak. <laughs> we, live in a, a, we live in a Christian country <laughs> where the sovereign head of state is a Christian. I'm a Jew. I never felt alienated from the fact that this is a Christian country. Arabs live as equal citizens in a Jewish state. You're almost. Wait a minute. I'm going to give you a lot of the astonishing thing is. Can I ask each other questions now? Muhammad had two. Jewish wives, but you won't shake the hand of a Jew. And you know why? Not That's you. not Islam. That's not Islamism. All right, Islamism is, is let me move on. You have, you it's sad. We're going to the final part. Sad. Sad. The final part is where sad. I want to try and end this, right? It's been mm. acrimonious. It's been passionate. Uh, I'm not sure we've achieved very much. Certainly not as much as I hoped. <laughs> um, I think we're all agreed <laughs> that we need to go. Um, many would perhaps agree Netanyahu should also have to go. He doesn't. He's his friend. Right. Well, I, I personally think the the will of the Israeli people, friend, right? democratically elected leader, I believe. In Hamas democracy. had a democratic election. Hamas <laughs> is a dictatorship. <laughs> and right. They ended elections a year after their dictatorship. Me, That's me, why Mahmoud Abbas will not go there. Finish, He's afraid of them. Let me finish. You We're coming can't to just wait a minute. 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 Wait a This final block doesn't have a thing. I just want to see if we can get to any points of agreement. Right? We've had all the arguments. You've shouted at each other. You've personally abused each other. Yes. Right? You're passionate. You've raised some good points, but they've been mostly shouted out. I just want to know how he his son comes back in a black No, and you've shown us some pictures, right? such a disgusting By the way, how would you like it? Wait, wait, Muhammad, would you like it as much as the pictures? You're asking me, my son, you know how low that you get? You attack Ben Shapiro's wife. You're not a real man. Real men don't attack women. Real men don't tell us that five-year-old girls can have sex. Real men don't speak about another. Yes, you did. You said it on my Instagram. Don't say that five-year-old girls creeps you best and should have sex. You are talking about my son because you're not a real man. Right, you're a bully. You and idea? if you really Why believe, you and if you idea? really believe, you, push your your son you, you would not be in the what? safety of, 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 of a studio in London. You, you can not bring up my son. Do not bring up Ben Shapiro's. Imagine this is Mendy. Picking on women. Imagine this is Mendy. See, you want to, you want, a, you want a civil Mendy. debate, but imagine, imagine this is saying that your son, your son is dead. Listen, you have no morality. You have no decency. You have no goodness. And this debate is over because this man is here to speak about my sex life. He's here to say my son's going to die. He is a Jew hater. He's an anti-Semite. He's an Islamist. And the fact that this I'm debate has gone along this way, allowing you to European. evade every question. You come from European extraction. Fabricate, Are you Polish? Are you Polish? My father's from Iran, my friend. You yeah. know nothing no, about Ashkenazi. me. Okay? You're Ashkenazi. My father's from Iran. Yes, my father yes, was yes. raised around Muslim. And he didn't meet Muslims like I'm you. I'm more Semitic than you are. What is the point of it? The fact that he's been allowed to offer fabrications of Jews killing 300 people. The fact that he's allowed to offer fabrications that have no source that the idea of killing 1,000 to 1. The fact that he's been allowed to tell his lies is a travesty of the show. It's a travesty of the media. The fact that he has not been challenged by you, Pierce, is unacceptable. He has evaded every question. The fact that he's allowed to talk about my sex life, Jewish sex life, he's obsessed with people's sex life, this is a travesty. And the fact that you're not ashamed of how... The fact that you are not ashamed of how you... How you humiliate Islam. Islam is a great world religion. You know what, Rabbi Shmuley? And Muslims should reject this. Not me, not the rabbi. Muslims should reject this man. It would be a lot easier for me to challenge him, which I have done repeatedly, and actually... You let him evade and evade and evade. If you allowed me to do my job rather than shout over every single thing... From day one, he was interviewing you, Pierce. From the first second, he was asking you questions. Me was a perfectly, he was asking me a perfectly legitimate question, yes. which I was trying to answer, but you kept shouting, as you have done for the, for the entire show. This is not, when you this say, is not a debate. When you say, a debate that talks about my the sex you, life, the pair of you, women says my children are going to die. This the, is not a debate. Sake, but the this, is, keeps something nice. this is a man the, who the cannot debate. He has to Rabbi bring Shmuley, Why don't you make Rabbi arguments instead of showing I'm pictures? Rabbi Shmuley, this is drama. Rabbi Shmuley, why do you have to show these pictures? Why don't you care about Why don't you care about Muslims being killed by Hamas for 17 years, stealing their money? Why does it bother you that Ishmael Haniyeh is worth $4 billion?
Shall we? Do you want to even conclude this? Because it's pointless. It's not me that's leaving. I mean, in a way, what do, what do, what do either of you think you've achieved with this? I, you know, the constant achieved, personal I'll, I'll, I'll abuse. Answer that. I'll, I'll answer. The I'll constant answer. personal abuse. I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. Can I answer that question? That's I'll, 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 I'll tell you what I've achieved. People like Islamists like Muhammad Hijab, and you can answer. Uh, if you don't interrupt me, <laughs> I'll finish with this, and then you can speak. Mm. They believe that Israel is going to disappear. They believe that we Jews are afraid of them. They believe that we Jews won't debate them. They believe that we tremble. He ha he did a video last week. I was going to say, did you see how they tremble? Who's they? Who's they? I have seen. Who are they? Who are they? I was going to say Jews. Who did? Who then? Who did you mean? So why did you? Who did you mean? He meant the Jews. He won't even say. Anti-Semitism. You know I'm here. You know I'm here. Let me finish. Anti-Semitism. You know I'm here. Anti-Semitism. You know I'm here. I'm here to show. To shut the debate down because you're weak. We have stared down the Assyrians. You're on the coward. We have stared down the Babylonians. We have stared down the Romans. You're on the coward. We have stared down the Greeks. We will stare down Muhammad, Egypt, and Islam forever. Don't fight with yourself. Don't fight with yourself. We are the eternal nation. So I have not achieved. I've shown people like him that we are going nowhere. We are not Who's afraid we? of them. We don't tremble. We're not afraid. And if we haven't achieved a constructive dialogue, we've tried with the Palestinians for 75 years. We offered them a two-state solution in 1936. I don't think you've made any attempt no, 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 Come on. This was never civilized from the first moment. Actually, okay, this was never civilized. Actually, it was. Please, can I just... Actually, it was. This was never civilized. Forget about all this. A man accusing Israel of killing 3 million Palestinians is a fraudulent lie. A man who cannot cite sources is a liar. He's saying He's saying saying that Israel's an apartheid state. I'm immune to this. Of course I apartheid. 20% of the soldiers are in control of black, by the way. What do you want to say? Let's get into a point. Black, and if you look at the Haaretz newspapers, they're treated as second-class citizens. Uh, the, Mama, what do you want to say in that? conclusion? Hold on. Uh, I want to say something that he said about the Peel report in 1936, which is a point of historical contention. He doesn't know that. He mentioned this in his book as well. He's mentioned it before, seven times that the Palestinians want peace. He doesn't know what history is. Because let me respond to you. 1936 and 1937, where the Peel report happened under the premiership of Ramsay MacDonald, mm. and then 1939, when the white paper took place under the premiership of Neville Chamberlain, actually, the Arab Higher Committee, which represented the voice of the Palestinian people, agreed with the conclusions of the Peel report. In 1947, the Arab League agreed with the conclusions of the Peel report. He doesn't know that because he has no truth to that. No, I'll give you the sources. Excuse me, excuse me. I'll give you the sources. The I'll, give you the sources. I'll give you the sources. Al Husseini I'll, said we will never I'll, accept I'll, it, and then he moved to Germany and lived with Adolf Hitler. Hitler. Like, That's the truth. The Mufti of Jerusalem the truth was is. Let me give you the sources. The truth, the let me give you the sources. It's, it's, it's pure it. fraudulence. It's what do you mean? The Mufti of Jerusalem was a Nazi, and he rejected okay, okay, it, and true. they all followed he, uh, no, it. He was a Nazi, correct? No, he did. He was a Nazi. The Mufti of was a Nazi. He was a Nazi. He shook hands with Hitler. No, he went to live with Hitler. He went to live with Hitler. I don't know if he lived with Hitler. I don't know if he lived with Hitler. He moved to Germany. You know he's all completely unwatchable, right? I know, I know. People at home are just going, what is the matter with these two guys? What is the matter with you? He wants my nation not to exist, and I want my nation to exist. I think it was like it. Uh, why, 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 why can't you try and have some civilized dialogue? No, because I'm answering his question. You can't. So let me speak. Neither so, of you can. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. I'm not interrupting him. I'm saying. You didn't interrupt me. You both got into each other the entire show. Okay, here's what I'm saying. In 1936 and 1937, you have the pill. He said, What's the source? The source is the, Palest uh, the Encyclopedia of Palestine. So the source is the cable gram, which you can find on the UN website in 1947. That, on the, I'll tell you the dates. On the 15th of May, 1948, which is when one day after the uh, State of Israel was established, according to the UN website, which you can find the public as a primary source uh, material, that the Arab Bleak said that we consider the conclusions of the Peel report as acceptable. And the in 1948, they said that? Five yeah. Arab nations no, no, hold on. invaded Israel hold on, hold on. the next day no, hold on. and war of independence. Yeah, great. Let me tell you what. 1% no, of the hold on. entire Israeli population were murdered sure, sure. by the Arab army. Did you just say they accepted the state of Israel? Did you really just yeah, say I did, that? I did say that. I said, you no, just no, said no, that in yes, 1948, yes, the Arabs accepted the state of Israel. I'm giving you sources. Here, I'm giving you sources. Does this show up any credibility Let me give you sources. You just answered it. Can I give you sources? That's what you're there for. The sources I'm presenting to you. Shmolek, the sources I'm presenting to you is as follows. Yes, you're right. Of course, there was a war in 1948. Five Arab nations. Five Arab nations, only three of them crossed the border, according to Rashid in his book, Hundred Year War, which, which I can recommend to you. Thank and other books as well, Albert Harani and others, secondary source material. But the primary source material is this. In 1947, undoubtedly, it's, it's on the UN website, you can find that the Arab League, they accepted the conclusions of the Peel Commission that took place in 1936, 1937. Oh, no, 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 1940. What about me giving yeah, you an so, example? So oh, no, this is all getting the weeds. Let me take you to, to, to yeah, the mid 90s, yeah. yeah. right? The sure, mid 90s, sure. there was a deal, yeah. which was the proper deal, right? And Arafat, at the last minute, walked away. That's awesome. Well, the source is Bill Clinton, who no, done the deal no, with it. the source is Dennis Ross. And let me no, tell you no, no, no. Bill Clinton so, says me. in his memoir, Bill my Clinton life, makes says, it very clear. Can I answer, can I answer, that you made go me first, a go failure. Go Arafat first, agreed first, the deal first. with Bill Clinton and then reneged on the deal. Correct. Can I, can I answer, that's deal, wrong, that's wrong. Looking back, that's wrong. it's not wrong. Can I, can I answer, it's not wrong, Mohammed. And looking back and looking back. Let me finish my question to you. And looking back on it, I would simply say, when you look at the entire history of this conflict, let me respond to that, please, yeah? That was the moment when real peace could have been achieved. That's wrong. Let me tell you why, okay? Let me tell you why. And you can both listen to this very carefully and take notes and check me, fact-check me. Just answer the question. No, go ahead and fact-check me. In 1993, you had the Oslo Accords. Both, there was two signatories, as you know, uh, Arafat and Rabin, and both of them got the peace prize for that. You know that everyone knows that, except... Angelman yes. Paris. Pardon? Yeah, 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 yeah Paris, of course, but I'm saying the two, uh, the Prime Minister and, mm. and, and Arafat at the time they signed it. You agree, yes? You wrote it in your book. 
Up until 2000, there were what you call peace conferences that took place. Taba 1, Taba 2, etc., etc. You agree, everyone agrees. All right. In 2000, this is what you're talking about, not 93. Because 93, Arafat. 93 again, was after one. 95 was after one. No, no, he's talking about. He's talking about. Arafat, Arafat, Bill Clinton. Give me a I'm talking about, about the period correct. when he's Arafat, Arafat, Arafat walked away. No, when Arafat, Arafat walked away. David, correct. The whole period when Arafat and Clinton. So, so, yes, yes. When negotiating, and they finally got to a point. He's right. He's saying that he's right because he's saying that in 2000, Camp David summit. Yes, correct. Okay, excellent. Now, you see, from 1993 up until 2000, yes. you had these peace conferences. Everyone agreed, okay? Yes. In 2000... And the Wide River Accords, which is... Sure, sure, by Netanyahu, by the way. Oh, no, no, that's, that's, that's the period I'm talking about. He was against the whole thing from the now, beginning. Now, he signed Wide River Accords. Uh, let, me come to, let me come to you. 2000 yeah. is what you're talking about. Walking yes. away. Let me tell you some sources. I'll give you Israeli source. Because I know Dennis Ross is a... Uh, what do you call it? He's, he's a biased source, right-wing, uh, Zionist, whatever. I'll give you another Zionist source. His name is... Uh, uh, What's the point ben of this? His name is Ben Ami. He's been, uh, ben Ami. Ben, ben, Ami. ben Ami mentioned. Ben Ami mentioned that the the, de the deal that was struck in 2000, mm. he wouldn't accept it himself if he was a Palestinian. That's what he said in his words, he, in his memoirs. Number one. Number two is if you consider what happened. I don't know who Ben Ami uh, is. He seems to be the no, most no, insignificant. No, no. Check it out. Check it out. Google it. They, they, he could be a calm. He's not insignificant. He was part of the courts. No, no. Let me, let me, let me, please. You know please. what? It doesn't matter. Now, Peter, doesn't matter because you're saying they walked away. It's not. It doesn't matter. I've read Bill Clinton's biography. Yeah, yeah. But he tells us he's getting it from Dennis Ross. He's getting it from Dennis Ross. No, he was there. I believe Bill Clinton. No, no. He's getting it. Let me just be clear. Bill Clinton and Ehud Barak offered second, Arafat 97% of that's the West Bank today in some areas. Wait, not wait, wait, wait. So then, 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 and, 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 uh, not only did Arafat not accept the deal, Arafat oh, he, he left without countering. Let me, let me and then me. when Arafat was leaving and he shook Bill Clinton's hand, this is the story that Bill Clinton tells in his book, My Life, he shook his hand and he said, Mr. Clinton, you're a great man. And then Clinton looked in the eye and said, I'm not a great man, I'm a failure. Yeah. And you have made me one. Sure, you go, go, and I was with, go to one source. No, no, wait, wait, but then let's get Orientalist. It, it gets better, oh, it gets better. No, no, let me, it gets you better. In two, it was widely reported. Let's get, oh, who, who, it gets better. Well, in, 2000, in, 2008, in 2008, you're wrong, Mohammed. How am I wrong? Give me the source. It was Arafat. The Clinton source is the president of no, the United guessed, guessed. States. He's biased like a brother. Arafat walks away from the best deal that there's been in the whole country. Let me explain something. Do you believe Forbes magazine? Do you believe Forbes magazine? Let me respond to you. Do you believe Forbes magazine? No, there's a second source. Don't talk over each other. Arafat died. Do you want to tell me? Make it simple. Make it simple. Maybe Arafat didn't want him into the party. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared of my response? Uh, are you scared? I don't think so. Great, you use speak. the word scared a lot. It's okay, don't run away. Respond. Okay, run away. From, don't run away. Nineteen ninety. I'm right here. Okay, great. Right here. So, listen, 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 stop listen, shouting, break. Rabbi Shmuley. Ninety-three. As we, as we said, there was all these accords from ninety-three to two thousand. Now, in ninety, what was what were the uh, contentions? Let me tell you what the contentions were on Oslo Accords. Number one, Jerusalem. Number two, the settlements. Number three, the occupied territories. Number four, the borders. That's what they were mentioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You forgot, uh, the, the, you forgot the refugees. Which is the most contentious. Yeah, sorry, the refugees. You correct, forgot correct, that completely. Correct. Okay. The, 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 the refugees, correct. Which is the right to return law, and we know this apartheid anyway. But anyways, no, it's not apartheid. Okay, every we'll, we'll every country in Europe okay. allows people with ancestry. You have a point. Together. You have a point, Mohammed. Okay, I do have a point. Which is as follows. What is they, it? They divided the areas into area A, B, and C. Okay. That was also two and ninety-five. Okay. Sure. So what I'm saying is, in that time, the question is, who was treacherous to the agreement? Because we know that, as you know, you condemned the settlements. That was part of the Oslo Accords. No, no. The of people who were part of the Oslo Accords was Arafat, who was giving the Why terrorists money it? to kill Jews. A thousand Jews died, which it? is the equivalent here in Britain of thirty thousand people being killed in terror attacks. All right. Can I, can I ask? 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 Can I you said also one, also two. May I ask you one question? I don't know if I how want much, you to ask me any well, you, know, you don't have to answer. But so this is the point. Does, this is how, a myth. How, much, how, much, this is a myth. how much of the Palestinian population in the yeah, West Bank, yeah, as you yeah, call it, yeah, yeah. is controlled right now by the Palestinian Authority? What percentage of the Palestinians are, are, under, are under no, 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 Mahmoud Abbas? No, 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 you won't answer no, no, it. You don't know, do you? None of it. Because all of it no, is no, 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 Right? Go first, no problem. How you think we move on from here? Because clearly anyone watching this is going to see two completely intractable sides, right? This is what I see on Twitter all day long. Right. I see people on the uh, Israeli side and on the pro-Palestinian side, and they scream at each other all day long, right? They say some things that are right, some things that are wrong, well. whatever. There's a kind of, get you involved in it. Well, you both said to me before we sat down, <laughs> I don't want to speak another term, it's but part you part both said to me independently. Well, so now the two of us ganging up on him, well, finally, okay. you both said to me before we started, you said that the American uh, Jewish community were very pleased with what I don't oh, yes, show. They are. And you said that the Muslim world pleased with what I've done And I took that as a perfect extrapolation of what we've been trying to achieve, which is giving both sides a voice and a platform. I can so I'll give you my minute. What, what has not left worked, side, what has not worked yeah. is bringing you together like this because actually it's been a, an ear thumping, <laughs> screaming match. So you're now going to get a minute each to, okay. to summarise, right? You can go and first. in the summary, I want to see if we can at least pretend to be constructive here, right? Okay. Okay. Because the world needs this somehow to end. Okay. So, Rabbi Shmuel, you go first. First of all, Mohammed, thank you very much for wearing these Israeli colors.
except that tiny little thing that I'm covering with my finger, that tiny little thing called Israel. And when they understand that Israel is not the Jewish homeland, Israel is actually the great Arab hope. If our Arab brothers and sisters get the economic prosperity of Israel, the rights for women, the rights for freedom of, freedom of assembly, to criticize their governments without fear, the way the people in Hamas, uh, in Gaza, would be murdered by Hamas, let alone in uh, Palestinian Authority, they'd be thrown in jails. Israel's the great hope. Let me just say this. Islam is a great world religion. It created the world's first universities. It introduced agricultural reforms in Europe under Sultan Akbar in India, 400 years before Europe. You had, um, you had Al-Razi, who introduced medical reforms 600 years before the... the All right. And if we return to that kind of advance, not the Islam that is being advocated All right. by Muhammad Ijab, which is antiquated All right. and well, dark ages, you think? then we will have peace. Okay. So God bless my Muslim brothers and sisters, Muhammad, and I will shake your hand anytime. Muhammad, a minute for you. As I said before, and I'll say it again, justice is a prerequisite for peace. If this was the case that it was South Africa and both nations had a long and known history with each other, Israel and South Africa, there's a book called The Secret Alliance that you can read for your further information. If this was South Africa and the blacks were kicked out of their country, they were kicked out of their country by the whites, like the Nakba, 700,000 uh, Palestinians were kicked out. And then they had the audacity to talk about peace. Nobody would be accepting it. The apartheid laws of South Africa are the same effectively as the apartheid laws of Israel. You're not allowed to come back to the country unless you are of a specific ethnicity which meets the requirements of apartheid. The 100 to 1 ratio of being killed in Gaza, the, this seems to be acceptable to Shmoli or unholy Shmoli. It seems to be acceptable to him. It's, it's not acceptable it's a very to good rhyme. Uh, at least right? a little bit It's not of acceptable comedy. to me. It's not acceptable to the people. When we see these images, it's absolutely not acceptable. So peace is uh, just as a requirement for peace. Okay. By the way, by the way no, Shmoli, that's a, no, not no, no, Shmoli. No, 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 yeah, you don't get to go all over Doesn't matter what your name is. I found that quite a dispiriting. Hour. I've got to be honest with you. Doesn't matter. I thought both of you right. let yourselves down. I gave you a great opportunity here. Uh, we gave you a try and reach. Come on. Well, fine. You can say what you like we about me. You an, I don't we, care. we gave you an audience. You gave I us don't an care. audience. It's fine. But it's not just about the audience. It's about a big audience, which we're getting for all these shows. About a big audience seeing people but, try but to come together. Don't be though. Nobody here is. I guess not. So the then. Try even try to come together. Right. Why would no, you, you know, Pierce, Pierce, to me? Pierce, Pierce, what can I do? Pierce, with all your respects. And try harder. Uh, I, 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 you know, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in construction. Try harder Nelson Pierce, Mandela Pierce, did when he came out of, Nelson Mandela could have gone down this road when he came out of prison. After 27 years. And they called him a terrorist then. They called him a terrorist No, wait a minute. Yeah, he, could they have, did. he could have come out of prison and he could have taken the path of vengeance. He did. He was violent. Instead, what are you talking about? he took the path of peace. He was violent. He took the path of peace. What are you about? When he came out of prison, he took the path of peace. He was Pierce, violent. Pierce, and you called him a terrorist. Yeah, I take this right. And I will think about what you said. And Mandela was pro-Palestine. But, but, but I will tell you. He was against that. But, 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 yes. but I will tell you. I will tell you. If you bring two people on to a debate and you're saying that we let you down on our audience. Don't give them lessons. Don't give them lessons. You bring people. He's very successful man. You bring two people and you allow one, 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 one to bring up stuff that is so just embarrassing, like sex, people's sex lives. Well, you you no, I did not. No, I did not. I did. No, I, sex, no? Oh, I'm proud of my books on yeah? sex, but All this right. is a debate about yeah, the Middle East. I don't care about your sex lives. I mean, <laughs> Muhammad did bring up the sex life past. All right. To be really interested That's in it, my mind. Uh, for me, we'll whatever you're up to, we'll talk later. keep it uncensored. Oh, Good night. Right, I think that, I guess, well, it's quite entertaining, I guess.